Tishana Ben and I work as a Hawaii Community Outreach and Education Programs Lead for the National Solar Observatory or NSO. The observatory is the facility that built and manages the NSF's Inoi Solar Telescope on Maui. And the telescope was named after late Hawaii Senator Daniel K. Inoi. You might be able to tell from it being a solar telescope that we do astronomy during the day because we observe our sun. The main goal of the NSO is to research the physics of our sun so that we can better understand why it behaves the way that it does. And that's because some of the sun's behaviors can actually affect our technologies on Earth. So it's my job to make the science and the astronomy that we do accessible to the public. And our team does that in a lot of different ways. Some of those ways include through social media, exhibit booths, uh, virtual learning like this, and school programs, which include school visits. And so some of the things that I look for in preparation are fun activities or science demonstrations that help us, well, help me to explain to students some of the basic concepts behind what we do at the observatory and what we learn about our sun. So for today's activity, I'm going to show you how to create a science demonstration that helps us to explain a little bit about why the surface of our sun looks like this. This video was created using images taken by NSF's Inoue Solar Telescope. They are the highest quality, most zoomed in images of the surface of our sun ever taken. So what exactly were we looking at? Let's put it into some context. So this yellow ball here is the entire disk of the sun. And the NSF Inoue Solar Telescope can only point at or view a small portion of the entire sun at any given time. The white box there is the telescope viewing area. And if we zoom in even closer, this is what we see. We start to see these details called convective cells, or we call them granules. One of these granules is about the size of Texas on Earth. And because the telescope is so powerful, it can zoom in even closer to see details between these granules, details that are about the size of Molokai. And for context, it takes about 109 Earths lying side by side to span the diameter of the sun. But why does it look like this? Why does it look like this pot of bubbling cheese or alien brains? Any guesses? Here's a hint. What do these have in common? The answer is something called convection. So you may have learned about convection in school, or maybe you'll learn about it soon. But what convection is, is it's a type of heat transfer. And it happens anytime that heat is transferred through something fluid. So that means a liquid or a gas. Or in the case of the sun, plasma. Here we can see convection currents as they form. There are hot cups below a tub of water and we can see with some food coloring that the hot water rises away from the heat source and as it hits the top, it cools and then sinks back down, creating these circular convection currents. Not only do we see these currents on the surface of our sun, but we also see them in Earth's oceans and in Earth's magma below the continental plates. Where else have you seen convection here on Earth? And so just like with the tub of water, we also see convection in our sun because heat is transferred from the core outwards. So let's zoom in on the convective zone. We see convection currents similar to those in the tub of water because heat is being transferred through a fluid. In this case, heat from the core of the sun is being transferred through the sun's plasma. We see the same thing where heat rises up through the center and then as it cools it falls back down along the edges so this is not the sun what you're looking at here is actually our science demonstration and i would say that you can even better see how the particles are rising up through the center and as they cool they travel towards the edges 
and sink back down. So for our science demo, this is what you'll need. You'll need a hot plate or some other heat source. You'll need a hot plate safe glass or metal dish or pot. And you'll need about two tablespoons of mica powder, also known as pigment powder. This is what I used. And you also need about two cups of vegetable oil. Just a quick note on safety is that this demonstration involves the heating of oil, so hot surfaces and hot oil. So be sure to ask an adult for help before beginning this demonstration. Add your oil. I just kind of eyeballed it. Then your powdered pigments. Give it a stir until it looks something like this. Turn the heat up until you start to see convection cells form. Once those cells have formed, you can actually remove your demo from the heat. Because the bottom of the dish will still be hot, you will still see these convection cells. So this is a great fluid, not just for showing convection, like what happens on the surface of our sun, but for showing any types of currents through fluids. Now you can see those convection cells start to form again. Does it look like what we saw on the surface of our sun? Well, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful and enjoyable. If you'd like to learn more about the National Solar Observatory or the NSF Inouye Solar Telescope, you can visit our website at www.nso.edu or follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.